Hey everyone, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to put together a quick video tutorial to show you the latest update that we've made to the Design Files platform. Now we had a lot of requests from designers who wanted to be able to tag items as they were uploading those items to their personal library in their Design Files account. And that makes a lot of sense because when you tag items with specific keywords, uh, it just makes it very quick and easy for you to find that exact item for that specific client project without wasting too much time trying to get there. So we went ahead and we built in the tagging feature into Design Files and you can use this feature uh, both when you are uploading images directly from your computer using this option over here or if you're using our browser clipper to grab images from anywhere online and save them directly to your Design Files account. Now I'm just going to show you how that works. So I just need to open up the product details panel. Now you'll notice that I opened it up from the bottom left hand corner here, but this is the same panel that you would get if you were uploading an image directly from your Design Files account using that upload button uh, within the uh, right side panel. So we have all the key information here. You can give your product a name. You can uh, include the vendor, the price, the source link, and the product description. What we've added in here is the tag field, which you can see right here. Now, you can choose to tag items based on style, color, fabric. You could tag items based on the vendor or the manufacturer's name uh, or the type of product it is. In this case, we're dealing with a sofa. And you can also choose to add uh, product dimensions as individual tags as well. Now when you do that, it's just going to give you a number of keywords that you can basically tie to this product and anytime you search for those keywords, this particular product is going to come up in your search results. So let's say that you're working on a client project and you need a sofa that is 85 inches wide. Well if you've tagged your sofa using dimensions, you can put in 85 inches wide into your search uh, field and it'll bring up all the options you have within your uh, product library that are specifically 85 inches wide. And that just allows you to quickly grab products that you know are going to fit within that client project. So I'll show, I'm going to show you how it works. It's really simple. Uh, I'll just delete this one tag to begin with. Now let's just add our tag. All you need to do is add a comma after it and it's automatically going to generate the tag. So now I can go ahead and save this and I can start using those tags to search for specific products. So like I said, if you added dimensions, then you could just go ahead and search for 85 inches wide. And it's going to bring up all the sofas that are 85 inches wide within my product library. Now I can also search based on style, so if I want to search by mid-century, I can do that. And it's going to bring up all the products that I've currently tagged at, under mid-century. So I would definitely recommend giving this a go. Yes, it's going to take you a few extra seconds to add in your uh, extra tags, but it's going to save you hours down the line because your product library is going to be so well organized, you'll be able to find products in seconds. So that's how it works currently within the editor. I'm just going to jump over to the browser clipper so you can see how it works there as well. So let's say I want to grab this product on Wayfair. I'm just going to click on the Add to Design Files button in my bookmarks bar. And, oh, looks like I made it. just need to adjust these images here. That's the one I want. So it didn't grab the image that I want, so I'm just going to click on that icon in the top right hand corner and I'll click on the product image that I want. So now that we have that, we're good to go. We've got the product name, the vendor, the source link. So I'll go ahead and add some tags. And again, I'm going to label this one under mid-century, and I'm just going to label it as a sofa for now. So I'll go ahead and grab the product price and scroll down here to grab the product description. And we'll save that item. And now that that's saved, I can go back to my Design Files account. I'm just going to go out of here and into my library view right here. So in my library view, again, um, if you just want to check in on your tags, you just need to go over to this menu over here. I'll do this one right here. Um, we're going to edit the product details, and there's the two tags that I have added to this particular item. 
So if I wanted to, I could search for sofa or mid-century modern, and this product is absolutely going to come up under those search results. The more tags you add, uh, the more uh, options you have for searching for that particular item under a variety of different keywords. So again, if I wanted to search for 80, 85 inches wide, I could do that here, and it's going to bring up the products that I have, the sofas that I have that are 85 inches wide. I can search for mid-century modern, and any other tag that I have added to any of the products within my product library. So definitely uh, give this new feature a try. I really think it's going to help you simplify your product library, uh, your product library and just kind of keep things nice and organized. Um, and let us know what you think. Absolutely, always let us know what you think. We're always happy to hear feedback from designers. We've got some new features that are also coming into design files. One of those features includes a grid view of your product library. So you're going to get a view that looks more like this. Um, and it's just going to allow you to quickly see all the products that you currently have in your library. Uh, we've got additional items that are going to come along with this view that will allow you to save products from our library or your library into a specific client project. You'll be able to generate tear sheets from this view as well and a, num a number of other features that are coming that we're really excited about. But for now, the tags are available. Uh, definitely give it a try and absolutely let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.